Women's soccer has quickly taken over the city through the creation of several neighborhood teams. From the youngest to the oldest of the female players, motives are similarly diverse and include social and financial objectives. But for Soki Sise, football has become a real passion that started at a young age. I was born into an athletic family, my mother was an athlete and my father was a soccer player. I used to regularly go with my dad to his soccer games and that really made me like the game. I started playing on the streets and then I joined the Mbejo club of Rufisk and even played for the national team. Unlike Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana and South Africa where women's soccer has reached professional heights, Women's soccer in Senegal is still in its developmental stage. The gender issue is another major challenge for women's soccer in Senegal, where about 92% of the population is Muslim. Many in the country still consider the football fully remains a man's sport, and young women who try to play it encounter varying degrees of bias, rejection or indifference. I was the captain of the national team. I faced a lot of problems because of the fact that I am a woman and I play soccer. People insulted me and made fun of me. Many were shocked by the sporting outfit. I was simply because in their eyes it made me look like a man. Today the different stakeholders of women's soccer in Senegal are demanding for much more resources and infrastructure to develop the sport. Hopefully the country's sports authorities will respond to this request. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.